So the whole point of this exercise, of course, is not to in some way stop a future insurrection. It's to stop anybody who opposes Biden from organizing, ever. For example, the FBI recently labeled a veteran-led disaster response organization a domestic terror group. That's according to an FBI whistleblower. The disaster response organization is called American Contingency. Mike Glover founded it. He's the host of the Mike Force podcast. He's a former Green Beret and CIA contractor. He joins us tonight. Mike Glover, I appreciate your coming on. Yeah, thanks for having me. So um, do you believe that you have been targeted by the Department of Justice? Absolutely. I mean, American Contingency started with a concept after the Seattle mayor told law enforcement officers to not do their job. So it's a forum of American citizens who are depending and leaning on each other in the absence of people, including politicians, and law enforcement agencies following the politicians and not doing their job. So you spent your most of your life working you know, under arms for the U.S. government on behalf of the country. How does it feel to be targeted by that same government? It's horrible. I mean, look, I'm an entrepreneur at first. I mean, yes. That's what I wanted to do after a long time of service. And it just sucks being targeted by, you know, a country. Um, my mom was targeted. My mom's Facebook account was deleted because the FBI communicated to social media and destroyed all the social media accounts. My mom came here from Korea from meeting my military dad in the Army, and we're dealing with this. She's dealing with this. Her small beauty salon in Fayetteville, North Carolina is dealing with this. Uh, it's, it's beyond belief, and the fact that the people whose job it is to defend you and the Constitution are ignoring it really grates on me. Is there anything that we don't know? I mean, are you accused of an actual crime that you haven't told us about? No, so the way it worked is I was labeled a militant, violent extremist organization. Uh, thank God organizations like Project Veritas exist. They leaked this information. An FBI whistleblower came out and said, this is indeed true. And not only that, but the FBI looked into Mike Glover's records. I'm a retired former special operations guy, a sergeant major, have a, you know impeccable career, have done nothing wrong have never broken any laws, and they went into my career, went into my DD-214, went into my med records, and luckily somebody in the FBI, likely a FBI hostage rescue guy that I work with overseas, did a report and said, hey, this guy's on the up and up. I don't know why you're looking in this guy, but cease and desist. And that's how the traffic was verbalized on a forum within the FBI. So it's not, it's something that I thought was a rumor because I was getting yes. uh, suppressed and deleted canceled off of every social media platform, but it wasn't. It was actually something that was true. So do you recognize these tactics from the war on terror that you fought in? Yeah, like if we're talking about subversion, sabotage, if we're looking at uh, government entities going after its citizens, these are the first precursors to operational prepare the environment. We call it shaping the environment. Um, and I don't like seeing it. Uh, as somebody who served a very long time, who wants to live in peace, Many of my teammates, Tim Kennedy, Chad Robichaud, Jack Carr, we're all entrepreneurs that just want to live a free life and be left alone. Yes. And all of these guys have their own little nuances and stories of how they're going after, especially on social media, and it typically roots in foundation back to the U.S. government. Shocking. It's shocking. Thank you for explaining that. Yeah. And I you. hope you'll tell us what happens. Thank you. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.